Hi, it's Tim Elwood from Compass Property Investing. Today, I'd like to talk to you about gearing. What is gearing? Well, gearing is effectively the ratio towards borrowing money towards making money. And you have you hear of negatively geared properties, positively geared properties, and neutrally geared. Um, so basically, in a nutshell, when you have an investment property, you'll receive income in, and let's say you might be receiving rent of, um, you know, five hundred dollars a week. That's two thousand dollars a month, and the loan repayment might be two thousand dollars a month. So you're getting in money coming in two thousand. Your loan is two thousand. So that's effectively cash flow neutral or neutrally geared. If you've got something that's negatively geared, your loan might be two thousand dollars a month but you're only receiving, say, $1,600 a month rent, so it's negatively geared. The actual costs of holding that property, you're not covering it. So you've actually got to put more money in yourself, and there's some great tax deductions for that. A lot of people enjoy negative gearing if they're on huge incomes. It's a good way to, to minimise tax. It's been around since, since day one. I don't think it'll go away, they're just quietly. But the other uh, side of that coin is a positive geared property, where uh, you, the money coming in, far outweighs the cost of holding the property with your, um, your loan costs. Um, some traps with positively geared properties is that uh, quite often you don't get the capital growth. But that's up to, to yourself to, to do that research and indeed we help out with that of course. But um, you know, just what's good for you needs to be determined, uh, but you must be aware that there, that's what gearing is. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that tip and uh, have a great day and thanks for listening. Talk soon.